Big changes are coming to the still untitled Han Solo solo movie. On Tuesday, June 20th, Lucasfilm announced that Phil Lord and Christopher Miller, the filmmaking team behind the Lego movie and the recent 21 Jump Street movies, will no longer be directing the standalone film. Citing creative differences, Lord and Miller have been replaced by Ron Howard, who not only directed Apollo 13 and won Academy Awards for A Beautiful Mind and Frost Nixon, but also starred in George Lucas's American Graffiti. In spite of the switch up in directors, the Han Solo film is still slated for May 25th, 2018, but I actually hope it gets delayed because I still like the idea of every Christmas being a Star Wars Christmas. Meanwhile, over at Warner Bros, following the success of 2014's Godzilla and this year's Kong Skull Island, it looks like the next film in the franchise is underway. Warner Bros and Legendary Pictures announced that principal photography has started on the next Godzilla movie, which will see Godzilla pitted against Mothra, Rodan, and King Ghidorah. And in video games, much welcome changes are coming to Overwatch. Live on the PTR, an update to the loot box system promises to drastically reduce the number of duplicate items that players receive. Don't expect to burn through your wish list though. While duplicate items will drop less frequently, pure credits will go up. So while you won't be increasing your chances at seeing that legendary Reinhardt skin you want, you will be getting a bit more gold and much less disappointment. And if you do get that legendary skin, a big update to the highlight system will allow you to show off your highlights even without the aid of capture software. Instead of hoping that the awesome play you made ends up as your play of the game, now at the press of a button you can capture the last 12 seconds of gameplay at will. Those captured highlights can then be exported directly to your PC, and even if you're running the game on a potato, you can still export the clips at 60 frames per second on the highest graphical settings. And speaking of making movies, it looks like there's something for everyone this week in the theaters, starting with... Despicable Me 3. It looks like the Steve Carell voice supervillain is getting back into a life of crime with his newly discovered twin brother. It looks pretty funny for the kids. Meanwhile, for the grown-ups, there's... The House. Okay, Will Ferrell can be a bit hit or miss, sure, but in this case, I'd say that the odds are in his favor. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Baby Driver. The latest from Edgar Wright, this film about a sovereign getaway driver trying to get out of his life of crime has a stacked cast and a sweet soundtrack. Forget the Fast and Furious, this is the driving movie I want to see this up. Over on television, Preacher returns for a second season on AMC this week. Follow the adventures of a morally flexible preacher as he takes a criminal and a vampire on a road trip to literally find God. On CBS, Zoo returns for its third season, and where did this come from? CBS has been running a show about a global pandemic of monster animal attacks for two years, and I'm just finding out about it now? Really? Likewise, Killjoys is back for a third season on Siffy if you're looking for some silly space bounty hunter fun. And hey, who isn't? And in video games this week, the new releases are pretty light, which is probably for the best considering the Steam Summer Sale is going on right now and everybody is picking up older games for crazy discounts. But hey, there's still a couple of interesting titles like, uh, B. AB Simulator. Or Zombie Solitaire 2 Chapter 1, because naturally a sequel to a video game Solitaire needs to not only exist, but to be split up into parts. Yeah, maybe just pick up some discounted games instead. Dishonored 2 is $20, and Middle Earth Shadows of Mordor is only $4. Just say it. Finishing up with this week's CG Bros video, Voyager by Team Voyager gives a look at the future of technology and how it relates to humanity through the cybernetic eyes of what appears to be Dora the Explorer's descendant. Finally, Corridor Digital is a short movie out featuring everybody's favorite technology-based duck superhero. Except he's not a duck, but whatever, it still works. Oh, oh my god! I'm so sorry! I didn't mean to! It was the wrong kiss ball and I just hit!
that's everything for this week, so what have you picked up in the Steam Summer Sale? Share any good deals you found in the comments. As always, I appreciate seeing those likes and appreciate subscribers even more. Go ahead and share this video with a friend and have a great week!